A Shade with Arco Cool, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, in a previous video, I did a review of Arco Comfort Shaving Cream. And a viewer saw that and wanted to know if I would be reviewing Arco Cool Shaving Cream. Well, I happen to buy them at the same time, so yeah. I'm going to be doing a review of Arco Cool Shaving Cream on this video. And also the Arco Cool Aftershave Balm. So, I'm going to be using my Edwin Jagger Kelvin Razor. This is the same great shaving head that is on the DE89L. It's on a shorter handle. They call this model the Kelvin. I like the uh, shorter handled Edwin Jagger razors. I think it changes the angle of approach ever so slightly and ups the efficiency, at least for me, a little bit. But yeah, this is available exclusively on Amazon, as I understand it. I'll have an affiliate link below if you're interested. The Kelvin. I like it a lot. I'm going to be using a Treat Platinum Razor Blade. I'm also going to be using a Samoog 830 Excelsior Bore Brush. That's soaking in the sink right now in some hot water warm water and I have hot water in my shaving bowl. I'm using an artisan shaving bowl that I received as a gift from my nephew Tom. This is something made by a Cleveland, a local Cleveland artist and I'll have a link to his uh, art shop, his workshop so that you can uh, see if he has something similar or this model available, still available. So that's about it. Let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. Okay, I'm gonna just take this hot water in this shaving bowl and dump that in there. I should have said studio. <laughs> I'm looking for the word workshop, art shop, his studio. And I should know that for gosh sakes. All right, Arco Cool. Let's see if it really is cool. Now, with the Arco shaving creams, I've noticed you need a little bit more, just a little bit more. So I am gonna put a little bit more there. If you want to get three passes, so about that much, yeah. But it's not very pricey, so I don't mind putting a little more in there. I'm going to put that in there like that. There it is in my shaving bowl. And here's my brush right here. I'm going to give it a good ring, a gentle ring, and maybe a shake or two. And I'm going to get that remnant and put it in there. Okay, so it's got a nice damp quality to it. Not overly damp, not overly dry. So let's see what uh, let's see what we get going here. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. <laughs> I like this shaving brush, but at times I wish it had a little longer handle. It's a nice, it's a terrific shaving brush, but at times I wish it had a little longer handle. You know, for getting into a shaving bowl. Yeah, see this deep. Wish the handle was a little bit longer, but I like it. It's a terrific, it's a terrific bore brush. It's 90% tops bore hair. I like that a lot. Got a very, very soft quality to it. And it does a wonderful job of painting on the lather, doing face lathers, that sort of thing. Okay, this is gonna need a little more water. I've noticed with this shave cream that yeah, you're going to add water to it in order to, in order to really let it explode and lather. It's going to need water. Obviously so, because I got a little more cream in there than, than I usually put in with other shaving creams. Now that's got it. That's getting there. Definitely getting there. Now I've looked at the ingredients and nowhere is menthol listed. So if you're expecting a menthol type of sensation from this, uh, I didn't get that. Just as a little preview there. So there, we're getting there. We are almost there. Yeah. That's, wow, that's, that's got quite a bit now. And nice peaks, we're ready to go. Let's paint this on. Now 
And even when painting it on, I'm going to add a little bit of water. This stuff really wants water. That's okay. Better to add water as you go than to have too much. And doing it and do it the other way around, add cream. That's why I started a little more cream. I noticed that in using this, you really do need a little more if you expect to get three passes. Use a little more cream if you want to get three passes. I got plenty in there, have enough in there for three passes, no doubt. And this first pass is going to be really nice. There's a lot of protection there. And I'm going up a little bit higher here because I'm shaving my entire head. I want to make sure I get rid of that stubble up there. I'm going to be doing a head shave either today or tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm just dipping in the water here just to add a little more water to it. And that seems to be working well. And this brush has done, is doing a wonderful job. Okay, that's it. I tend to, <laughs> I tend to lather a little too much. I like the process. I really do. All right, so let's get this uh, razor disassembled and get a blade in there. Okay, here's my Treats Platinum Blade right there. Okay, Treats. All right, there are my two halves there. I get this blade. There's my treat blade. There. And there like that. Okay. Yeah, balance and alignment is spot on. Okay, nice mild performer with a little more efficiency than the DEA and than the DE89L. This, that's my opinion. That's how it affects me. Your mileage may vary. I'm gonna heat that up, put a little bit of warm water here. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very nice and mild. Very smooth. And again, if you're expecting a cooling sensation, I'm not getting any kind of cooling sensation from uh, this lather at all. It has a nice subtle fresh scent. And it's offering me some nice protection. Nice slickness, really nice slickness and nice protection. But if you're looking for something that has a menthol, eucalyptus kind of kick, like Parasso Green, this doesn't have it. Now it might offer some sort of cooling effect in my final rinse, but we won't know that till the end of the shave. Uh, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. All right. <laughs> that was a nice first pass. Very, very nice. Boy, I could be done in two passes with this shave. Um, this is offering a lot of protection, and a lot of nice glide. I will say that. And it has a good fresh scent, but as far as being uh, 
a cool, cool kind of uh, lather, uh, a mentholated kind of lather. It's, it's not it. But it is uh, a very, gives a, gives the skin a very soft feel. Very soft shave is what I'm saying. And again, I have enough for a third pass here. And I might do a third pass just to show you how much lather I have here. Got to use a little more if you want three passes. You know, your mileage may vary. You know, you might want to experiment a little bit. It's also going to depend on how hard or soft your water is, obviously. But I have city water here and no water softener. I've had no problems with various soaps and creams. They've all performed uh, quite well with the water I have. So there we are. And again, here I'll show you. Got plenty there for a third pass. So that amount that I use seems to generate enough for three passes. It's kind of an optical illusion. When I pull shaving cream out of a tube, I tend to put a little bit more on my finger, more than an almond size, because when I dip into a, a tub of shaving cream, I don't have it in here, but you know, a tub of shaving cream, when I dip into a tub of shaving cream, uh, I tend to pull out a little more. So I'm trying to make the equivalent coming out of a tube. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, so here we go with pass number two. We're gonna go east to west across the grain. Again, nice slickness, nice glide, really nice. Comfortable shave, really comfortable shave this morning. Very, very nice. While doing this, I'm starting to notice just from this second pass that there is, as I'm removing the shaving cream, there is now a little bit of a cooling effect, but it's not a menthol kind of cooling effect. There is something there. There is a little something there. Initially, I didn't, I didn't detect it. Right now, I am. But I think it's it's uh, it's underlying. It's not hitting you over the head. Yeah, it's it's kind of a neat. It's it's a nice cooling. There is a, a little bit of a cooling effect after having removed the shaving cream. It could just be the <laughs> air in the room, <laughs> but there is something there. All right, uh, let's go with. Uh, well, pass number two is done. Let's rinse. Wow, that's a nice shave and I'm done. That's a nice shave. But I'm gonna do a third pass just to show you that there's enough cream there. I'm gonna do a quick, 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 quick third pass. This would amount to a, right now, if I, if, if, if I wanted to do something following this second pass, it would be more of a touch up, but I'm gonna show you a third pass just to show you how much lather I have left. And I have just a mount just the right amount of lather left for this third pass. Okay, so let me just pull this out here like this. Pull it out and scrape it off the brush like this and kind of get it off the brush and then pull it out like this and you can see. So that was the right amount of cream to use to get three passes. 
And again, your mileage may vary depending on how hard or soft your water is. And that's true with any soap or cream. I, I would imagine. Okay, let's show you here. Let's show you here right here like this. See, got just enough left, right? Okay, so there we go. All right, we rinse that off a little bit. Dry my hands. All right, so here we go with pass number three. We're gonna go south to north against the green. Just a nice, light, queen, queen? <laughs> Clean, quick pass. That's what I want to say. Queen and click. No. <laughs> Clean and quick. <laughs> I'm having a comfortable shave this morning. I'm so relaxed. Did you ever do that? Reverse words like that? Get them jumbled up <laughs> and mixed up? Third pass done. Let's rinse. Wow. Yeah, I could feel it as I was rinsing. What a nice shave. I'm gonna do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Boy, that was a nice, that was a nice efficient shave. Very nice, very comfortable. A good close shave, no irritation, no nicks, no cuts. Just a really nice, enjoyable shave. Okay, here's my warm water rinse. Yeah, very nice. Really, really nice. Okay, cold water to close my pores. Okay, I splash some extra water on my face to see if I get any kind of cooling effect like I do with Purasso and not really. As I say, there's, I looked at the ingredients and I didn't see any menthol in there, so you're not getting any kind of menthol Kind of coolness but there is a, a very very subdued kind of coolness but I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's overwhelming it doesn't hit you over the head but it gives you a nice comfortable shave it does have a subtle fresh scent to it and it gave me a really nice shave with a lot of nice protection that I enjoyed a great deal really nice Terrific. That was absolutely terrific. Really terrific. Now, this scent of the Arco Cool is a little different than the, uh, than the Arco Comfort. This has more of a subtle citrus scent. This has a, a, it's a fresh scent. It's rather subtle, but it's fresh. I, I like it. And right now, the post shave feel is cool is cool it's the coolest doesn't doesn't hit you during your shave but there is a little bit of subtle coolness after that cold water rinse yeah there is something there there's something there but it's it's not it's it's not overwhelming it's it's very very subtle it's 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 really, it's really low level. It really is, but it's nice. It really is nice, yeah. Let me get my shash block here. And uh, let's rinse this under some cold water here and see what kind of feedback we get. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth, no zinging, 
no stinging. Really just a nice smooth pass of the album block. That's terrific. That's a nice, close, comfortable shave. Very, very smooth. And I think the Arco Cool was really responsible for that. I like it. I, 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 I like it. I'm rather surprised. There is the Allen block in the dish. Going to air dry overnight. This is my, uh, actually, this is my third shave with this. And uh, I think I'm growing to like it. I really am. I'm noticing more with the third shave than I did with the first two shaves. This third shave has really been nice. And as I say, there's a subtle coolness to it, but it's not, it's not hitting you over the head. All right, look, I'm going to let this set up. I'm going to mop up a little bit, and I'll be back to finish the shave. Okay, a good bore brush like this cleans up fairly quickly. You know, just rinse out the, uh, the soap and just, again, just give it some gentle ringing here to move the soap out. Get it out like that and give it a few shakes and then buff a little bit on the towel. It doesn't come out as dry as a synthetic, but it still comes out uh, dry enough to where air drying will complete the job. And uh, yeah, I like this brush a lot. Look how much it's bloomed and how the hairs have split and it's very, very soft. Again, um, I wish it had a little longer handle. Uh, and I'm gonna be looking for one. If you know of one, comment below, but I like the Samoa. This is 90% tops bore hair. If I could find a bore brush with 90% tops bore hair and a longer handle, uh, I think I'd be very, very happy. If you know of one, comment below, let me know. Uh, and this fits nicely on my Vikings Blade Admiral razor and brush stand. Very nice. Just set that aside like that. And of course, I also dry out the bowl uh, with the towel. This was really nice. Again, I'm going to link to the uh, artist's studio, his workshop, his studio, uh, so you can see if he has this one available or others. I just like the um, the gripping he has around the the bottom here. Uh, really get a nice solid grip and he has some swirling in there at the bottom to help generate a lather and some bumping here on the side as well. All that offers resistance to generate more lather and uh, does a nice job. So this was a really, really nice, meaningful gift from my nephew, uh, which is great about the wet shave. As soon as your family knows that you're doing the traditional wet shave, they give you neat stuff like that. All right, let's do the uh, Arco aftershave balm. It comes in a bottle like this. I'm showing you the packaging, so if you see it online, you can recognize it, or if you see it in the store, you'll recognize it. It comes in this kind of package here, and the shaving cream comes in this kind of a tube box like this. Okay, so the lid flips off like that, and we're gonna put a little bit like that, right there. Okay, a little more. Nice, fresh scent. Very fresh. Nice, fresh scent. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to put a little bit, a little bit more. <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit more here for upstairs and all around because I'm doing the, the full head shave. That's nice. Great shave, wow. Nice protection, nice glide, subtle coolness. It's more of a post-shave subtle coolness. You don't really get anything in the moment and it's not overwhelming like you would get from say Parasso Green or CO Bigelow or any, other, any of the other mentholated soaps or creams that you might be using. It's nice and like I say, the cooling effect really isn't big and overwhelming. It seems to be subtle. Now this has a little bit of a delayed cooling effect. I can feel it on the top of my head for sure. And I feel it a little bit here and here. So there is some nice cooling effect, but again, it's not overwhelming. It is rather subtle and it is very, very nice. So much so, 
I'm going to use it again. I really am. This was really, really very, very good. I enjoyed this a great deal. Um, the Arco Cool Shaving Cream and Aftershave Balm. Really very nice. Gave me a really nice, nice, close shave. Good cushion, good glide, nice slickness. Uh, a bit of a cooling effect that I am feeling right now, especially in the back of my neck here also, on top of my head, and around this area here. Really, I'm, I really liked it a lot. I'm very surprising. This is my third shave with it, and I think this shave uh, is the best of the three so far, and I think they're going to get better and better with this. I like this product a lot. Now, you use a little more to generate lather, and uh, if you use the Arco Shave Stick, you know that you get a lot of lather from that. And I think the big difference is, is that you're rubbing that shave stick on your skin. You're actually applying more soap than you would with the shaving cream. That's why I say, if you want three passes, err on the side of putting a little more uh, in the shaving bowl than you would with other shaving creams. Um, it likes water and uh, it'll drink that water up and make a heap a heap of lather. So you might want to adjust the ratios depending on if you're doing two or three passes that sort of thing. Even if you come up short, you can always just put a little more in the shaving bowl and just whip up uh, a little bit for your third pass. But uh, I liked it a lot. Arco Cool Shaving Cream. I'll have affiliate links below. All right, hey, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ray, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized, you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again, I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.